Hi, I'm Mike. What's up? I'm Ryan. My name's Chris. And I'm Brent. This is the story of four adventurers. This custom striped RV is our home for the summer. This is an epic journey across Canada. The mission of a lifetime that we're calling Project Adventure. It's day 32, and our adventure in Churchill, Manitoba continues. We're out for some summertime dog sledding. Dave Daly is a dog sledding expert and racer. I grew up in Churchill, so I grew up hunting, fishing, and trapping. I'm Aboriginal, okay? I come from the Métis Nation. David actually created the Hudson's Bay Quest, which is a massive tour in and around Churchill, Manitoba. <laughs> Dave Daly loves his dogs, and he treats them as his own pack. They're like family to him. These dogs are like Olympic athletes. They do stuff that no other dog can do. My best 100 miles is 12 hours and 6 minutes. These dogs can move. So what happens when you have athletes? They get injuries. So you got to know how to treat the dogs to get them up and running as quick as you can. The dogs seemed so excited that we were there, they were ready to run. The yeah, Idina Mile is a mile-long track in which the guests get to experience what it's like to do dog sledding summer or winter time. And that mile goes by quick. You're up first. Let's go and race some dogs. Apparently the first round is going to be the fastest with 12 to 15 miles per hour. Because Chris and I were the first to go, the dogs were actually going so fast. These dogs in the back are tanks. The yeah. back two dogs were working the hardest because they're right next to the weight of the sled. Definitely the hardest working Alaskan sled dogs in Churchill. Dave kept a really close eye on every single dog to switch out ones that were getting tired. On Dasher, on Dancer. I feel like Santa, but cooler. <laughs> The dogs were a little tired, but they still gave it their all. Awesome how organized the dogs are. While we were riding around on the sled, it was awesome to see all the dogs' ears pointing in all different directions to see who was communicating with who and who had to lead the pack. Dog sledding in the summertime? I never would have thought of this. How you guys doing? You're running pretty hard out here. Who's Grace? Welcome back in the we can all now say that we did a mile. From Churchill, we're headed to Falcon Lake, Manitoba. Welcome to Falcon Beach Ranch, home to Canadian Olympic biathlete, Megan Imry. Believe it or not, in Falcon Lake, a biathlon is not an uncommon thing. Falcon Lake is also home to a winter Olympian. We are joined today by Megan's sister, Jill, another professional provincial biathlete and coach. This is the rifle that we use. I just went and visited my sister. She trains twice a day, basically seven days a week. What is it about a biathlon that qualifies you for the Olympics? It's a pretty unique sport, I think, because it combines not only physical fitness, but also mental capacity, right? Because you're competing and you're demanding your body to do all sorts of crazy things. Okay, so uh, your yeah. speeds would be extended from your... And then the other thing that you need to pay attention to is your breathing, because all of this is going to be happening after you've been exercising, so your heart rate is pumping. Did she hit it? Nice. And man, she was a sharp shooter. We got a couple of practice shots in. We had to hit about three inch targets all the way down at the end of the range. Apparently, the Olympic athletes have to hit targets about the size of a toonie. Shooting without any exercise before it was super easy. And then came the sprints. It was time for the biathlon. On your mark, get set. It's a whole other ball game when you get your heart rate going. We were doing about a 100 yard dash compared to a five to seven K cross country ski. Once your heart rate gets up, that's when things get intense. Especially after you've just ran a lap and your heart is pumping hard. It actually makes it harder to focus and steady your shot. Run. I can't imagine how Olympian biathlons can go for so long. Oh my god. I'm gonna pass out. You either have to learn how to shoot with your heart rate up or stabilize yourself. There was no way we were slowing our heart rates down. We're completely out of shape for this. Take a run, bud. Biathlon is a lot harder than it looks. After the first couple tries, we eventually figured it out. You had to slowly ease into a jog and then come back and stabilize yourself. 
Yeah, buddy. Nice. Canadians. How did we do on our first day? <laughs> you guys did great, actually. You did well shooting, you know, when you hadn't done any physical exercise. Oh, we did maybe, what, a 100-yard dash? dash. <laughs> 100 yard dash, and we uh, didn't really hit the target too much. It was awesome doing the biathlon today, but I'd like to come back and throw some skis on and try it the real way. Well, thanks so much yeah. for bringing us out. That Thank was a great experience. Good time. So here we are, Falcon Beach Ranch. We had a blast today. See you next time on Project Adventure. Next time on Project Adventure. We hit Ontario for some sailing in Thunder Bay. And we go stand up paddle boarding on Nipitin Lake. Follow our journey across Canada on BeInsider.com. Hashtag Project Adventure.